Hey, hi. Well, fortunately, Caloriferous, who I, I, I think I know who you are, pretty sure I know who you are. Um, I'll just say, Bost? Uh, fortunately, I'm not doing anything that was set up in yesterday's episode. <laughs> I'm going to go do other stuff instead. I uh, know I haven't actually hit the button yet here to get started. I'm just kind of looking a little bit at my um, the stuff I've been picking up. Cashing some uh, things out for points. See if I can't. Do something cool. Get rid of that. That's not bad. That's not bad. No, that stuff's bad. Is this stuff bad? This stuff seems alright. Okay. Alright, I think we're ready. Hello everyone and welcome to Start to Finish for Control. My name is Matt Boyer. This is episode 11. We have a spinny camera, which is good. And we have some jukebox tokens, which are strange. And we have a man here who might know about the jukebox tokens. I'm going to stand down here and talk to you as opposed to on top of your table because that's weird. I found this token. Any idea what it does? Huh. That is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. <laughs> Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Yeah, it does. Why does it send you there? Uh, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry. You just don't know where. Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have blown back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. Ooh. Yes, I would like to listen to all of these dialogue options. What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. <laughs> you know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. Oh, fucking lab coats, man. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. No kidding. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have after work beers down there. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so... Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? I'm a little concerned about Darling. You're security, right? Do you work with rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most rangers, they retire due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. It means their brain implodes. How does the bureau I wouldn't do that. Thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends a rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. 
Now, down to maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. Lap coats mine black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink it? Do I even know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh, pretty gross. Ew. I didn't want to know. Ew. Ew. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall? Marshall's a fucking badass. Yeah, she Rangers is. could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. That's weird. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. I know. That's weird. Whoa. That's that's also weird. I don't know if it's just like extra if it's just weird weird or if it's um like weird I'm gonna explore it in this game weird. What we got going on here? Oh jukebox tokens. They take a lot of source. Oh my gosh. What are they for? Clearly I can enter that and get something good. Alright, well let's head to Let's head to this hall. Uh, there's an offer of non-spoilery things about the tokens in the chat. Um, let me think on that. Let me... I might end up trying one out today, and then I'll, I'll figure that out. My goals today. I didn't say what my goals today are. Anchor. Refrigerator. Maybe some... May, maybe a token. Maybe the jukebox. DJ God has fallen in love again, after all. So, I've got to find out if the DJ's playing my song. Okay. Whoa, a little hitchy. It's all right. First time I'm using a lot of these powers, so it's yeah, it's hitchy on my side too in that moment. Don't. Of course. Of course. Woohoo! Clocks. Whoa! We got a name over here. Oh, I got a jukebox token. This is the safe room Will showed me. The one with the altered item inside. Let's do this. Wait. More clocks. It's gonna be awesome. Gonna get an anchor. This is a game's way of hinting that I needed to do this. Oh, I could have just teleported straight to it. All right, check this out. Whoa! I'm flying to the anchor. The anchor has left me alone. Uh oh. Uh. Yes? What the fuck is that? Can I help you? Uh. Are you in there? Don't make clocks. This is very weird. Um. I only know how to throw clocks at you. 
I do not know any more tricks. There's something in there. Can I shoot you? Are you bad? Here, I'm gonna give you this red clock. Open up. I see you in there. Hello. Woohoohoo! That was cool. I enjoyed how that looked. Wow. I can't tell if it's going in a pattern or not. Yep, still not sure. I'm gonna stay here. Kind of hold down this fort for a minute. See if it cycles back around. I don't need that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Alright, alright. Got you there. Got you there. I think I also don't want to be in front of it when it does that. That seems like that might be real bad for me. Oh, it's going faster now. Hmm. Getting there, getting there. A lot of clocks. It's a clock spitter. Do I have the time? I do, in fact. I will share it with you. I have a large clock for you. Oh, I'm not gonna make that one. All right, come on. Oh yeah. I got hit, which I guess you all could tell. I have some health though. Ah. I did it. Yeah, that was fun. I enjoyed that. That was a good time. What's this gonna give me? The ability to spit clocks? How's that gonna help me? Ooh. There. The one of the rangers had such a hard time with that one. Maybe it just gave me skill points. I got untapped potential. Ah. Blackrock paneling successfully prevents manifestation of the sphere. A Trotman-style anchor made of iron with a wooden stock. Surface is rusted in place. Weighs 3,789 pounds. The item generates a persistent blank sphere, the purpose of which is currently unknown. This sphere is always generated at a precise point in relation to the item, specifically horizontal feet and vertical feet from the of the anchor. Appendix, April 25th, 1983. 
Ranger First Class was dropped into the sphere wearing a diving suit with dedicated oxygen line at AMEST. After 10 minutes and 13 seconds inside the sphere, oxygen line was cut off at the sphere's border by an unseen force. All agents in the room during entry experienced vomiting, vertigo, and loss of fingernails within an hour of one another. Ranger has been declared MIA, presumed dead. What? Woohoo, that's weird. That's weird by anyone's standard. That's a nice little bottomless pit there. Everyone enjoy that. I'm going to be skipping it. And landing here. Ooh, I got a lot of stuff. Do that in a minute. Board countermeasure. Finish this one. I got a boost. Ah, uh, sure. Abilities. What do we have over here? Oh, right. I wanted my ground slam. I want to levitate for longer as well. I am now out of skill points. I am looking at the chat. Chat is like, you're good at games. And I'm like, I know. Uh, I'm not using Pierce currently, so I'm going to hold on to my source. Because I like, I like charge. I like rocket launchers. I don't want to go to the prime candidate thing because I'm afraid of it. I do want to do this. Okay. Spent some of my slots. Now I'm going back into here. All right, we need to head back to the Panopticon. Upper Panopticon, maybe? When shield integrity is low, suspended objects will begin to vibrate, indicating that shield is about to collapse. Well, that's nice. Uh, I've been playing Hades, where when you use your big god power, it starts doing this kind of chiming countdown to let you know that it's about to wear out, and I really like that. Because I'm usually not looking at anything like that. Okay. Hey, I'm back. Hey, what can I do? Oh, you're back. Oh, thank you, thank you. If, if I look away, I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here. The door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston, if he's still around. Langston. Yeah, I know him. I'll go ask him how to get you out. Please hurry. I will. My eyes. They can't. They can't. Hey, calm down. Keep it together, Philip. Just focus. On the fridge. What's your name. Focus. Right. My, my, my name's Philip, and I think I can hold on for a bit. It's just my eyes. My eyes hurt so much. Just hang on, Philip. Okay. Whoa, that was speedy. All right. I told Salvador, but no. Why listen to Langston? Hey. There's someone named Philip up in a cell. He's watching the refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip? Oh shit, I forgot about fridge duty. <laughs> He's been in there for over a day, I totally forgot. You forgot about him? Uh. There's a lot going on. The hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's- Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door? Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. There. Done. Door. Open. But Philip can't just leave. 
The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. Uh, if you don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. I'll figure something out. I'm pretty good with these things. Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, ma'am. He doesn't know us very well. <laughs> okay. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. I'm coming, bud. You're over here. Hello? Jesse? I'm back. I'm coming in. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Jesse? The fridge is doing something! Philip? Philip? Oh. Oh. If I look away, it hurts me. Uh, I didn't have a chance to read this. Philip, no. Um, yes. Whoa! That was a bad idea. Oh, I was dodging. The fridge is mad. I wonder if I look away from it in there, does it also go bad for me? Find a way to subdue the refrigerator. Yay! I want to read about it first. Hello? Jesse? Jesse? The fridge is doing something! <laughs> Philip? Incident in question occurred on and was brought to HR department's attention by the internal security personnel who intervened. According to reports secured, supported by security camera footage, Agent Filson entered the staff kitchen with the intention of consuming his private meal, a homemade sandwich cut diagonally and packed in a plastic container, but discovered the refrigerator had his meal. Agent Filson began to kick the bureau-owned appliance as he expressed his frustration in a loud and profane manner. This behavior caused multiple staff members present to become alarmed. Security was alerted soon after. Filson complied with security's demand, commands to desist. Agent Filson was reprimanded and suspended for the remainder of the ongoing work week. The review committee recommends one non-mandatory counseling session. Okay. Okay. Looking at it. I'm sorry, Philip. I'm sorry, Philip. I'm sorry, Philip. If I look away... All right, I'm ready. I know it's coming. It is weird to me it that it talks like the board. Like the board. I can't understand it. Fuck? There it is. Oh yeah, return to sender, baby. Uh, I don't, I know, this is worse, 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 this is worse. What? I couldn't see that. Okay. Interesting. 
I get the idea behind the fight. I'm just discovering it in bad times. Sorry, Philip. Uh, so it destroyed the ground, and then I walked it. It hit the ground, I think destroyed it, and then I fell into the hole that it left behind. I believe that's what happened there. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand. I could be wrong. I might have just... Alright. So what I do... Give me another one. Give me another one. Okay. I'm ready now. Okay, it does not. I ran off the edge by mice. Oh, I totally did. Ow. Ow. Ugh. I'm sure it's going to be... Gosh. Oh, I got real lucky there. All right, it's not dealing damage to me when I don't look at it here. Hi, I'm up very high. health Ugh. can't find any health I don't have anything to destroy it with Did I win? Oh. Wait. There's no black pyramid here. Where am I? Whoa. The fudge seems fixed. Did fighting that thing off change something? Oh boy. Oh, Philip. Philip. Hotline. Explain former. But used to be, right? Do that. Whoa. I don't um no. I I get hyped about ads. <laughs> I 
Oh. Huh. I don't really want to get involved in this corporate struggle you all are having. The Arctic Queen. No unique procedures required. An Arctic Queen brand electric refrigerator model from the 1960s. No cooling functionality. The door is decorated with crayon illustrations by... The illustrations cannot be removed from the item. All attempts have failed. The paper cannot be burned or torn. The item first came to the Bureau's attention after it survived the collapse of New York City's Grand Central Hotel, where it served as an appliance in an apartment rented by a man named... It became the subject of local infamy after surviving the building's collapse on damage. Mr. Who was out of the building at the time of collapse, PM, retained ownership of the item until 1974, when the Bureau purchased the item through a false identity. New altered effect has been observed. See file A1, AI10.F for details. See file AI10.K for new containment procedures. I have bad news. Some of the security cameras aren't working. How do I get those fixed? Hi. How'd it go? Where's Philip? Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get him out. Poor Philip. You never did like fridge duty. That was performative. But if you're here, then who's watching the fridge? The fridge is fine now. I took care of it. You don't just take care of altered items. What did you do? I touched it and wound up in the astral plane. This thing was in there. It was huge, had one big eye. Wasn't friendly. We've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description. The astral plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. This may happen again. Do you think that Yay. is what got Philip? Must have been. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. The agents all know the risks. But, since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others for you, Corral. <laughs> the hiss are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. My life just got a whole lot easier. I was, I was here when you said that. I heard you. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here. I was here. Always. Just like you. Oh boy, we got a lot of things we can do. We have so many things. Uh, I'm not so into the damage after kills one. Do like headshot damage. Because I'm doing those. Do like extra abilities like health. Because I keep dying. I don't want to do that anymore. These aren't as exciting at the end. Um, let's take a look at what we can do. I don't think I'm... I don't know if I'm quite ready. Oh, I mean, these seem fun. Let's do one jukebox to understand what the jukebox is. And then let's go maybe cleanse some altered items. Uh, it's also been mentioned to me. I could check in with Ati. That's a good idea. I wish Ati was up here in the executive area. It'd be a lot easier. I should do that. I should be helping out my people. I'm the director. I should be doing all the dirty work. Everyone knows CEO is one that gets their hands dirty. Roll up the sleeves. Really gets in there. Alright, I want to put a... I want to put a put a token in the jukebox. I don't think I've been in this room. Does this room have any 
Hello, I come here seeking knowledge. Just like that Sting song. No one has any for me. Nope, don't want to go down there ever again. I've talked to you. This looks like a room that is dying for a presentation. Vacation slides. Marshal orders us to just sit on our asses and then leaves? What's the deal? She must have her reasons. She's probably out there. Uh, go out there, take my gun out. She should have taken us with her. I can't remember where this is. I feel like I stuck my head in at one point. Hello, I'm taking directions. Oh, hang on. What's in here? What's this room? I didn't do anything at the beginning of this game. Objects of power are unique in their capacity to grant certain individuals paranatural abilities. We call these individuals para-utilitarians. The potency of these abilities depends on the para-utilitarian. Using the object of power as an example, some para-utilitarians can achieve a throw distance of while others are only capable of as little as... See Dr. Darling presentation 11.15 for more information. What exactly determines an individual's paranatural competence is unknown, but it is largely believed that some exist within the body and that, like all muscles, it can be exercised. To continue my analysis, I have officially requested access to the Northmore records, since considering he is one of the most accomplished para-utilitarians the Bureau has ever seen. Dr. Darling is still considering this request. I think someone's recommending I go back into the hell room. Oh, I'll go back to the hell room. I'm going to, because maybe there was. I, that, I'm. That's how I'm interpreting the what was on the table behind him. You're a radio. You don't have anything interesting to say. I should probably do that. I can't believe we just let a hiss stroll in here. Blur to blur to blur. I'm angry and racist. Now I think you have justified reasons to be upset about. Everything. I don't want to talk to you. You frighten me greatly. I can hear the voices. And I would prefer not to. Hmm. Okay. Uh, go to parapsychology. See, these, they're, they're, they're fine. Where's the jukebox? Where's the jukebox? Help. I don't know where the jukebox is. I've seen the jukebox. Is it down here? Is it in nostalgia? Anybody? Want to tell me where the jukebox is? Do you happen to remember where the jukebox is? Do you know where the jukebox is? I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Status. Anyway, not point. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stone, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. The problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HR. Then they Ooh. had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You said Ooh. That for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck. And I really don't want the hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay hiss. Yeah. I might have gotten one? I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. I will do that mission, because that sounds good. It's back here. 
Based on the success of America Overnight, we would like to propose the creation of a television series that presents superstition and skeptical thought as entertainment in order to popularize these concepts among the civilian population and create less resistance to redirecting information regarding public paranatural events. We can also use a solid media outlet to test paranatural concepts on civilian audiences, seeing how they react to certain facts, presented as fiction, in the event that the Bureau ever decides to make certain realities public knowledge. There are various show licenses that we could purchase and reboot rather than starting from scratch. One particular property seems promising, especially considering its content and tone are precisely what we're looking for. It's called Night Springs and has been off the air for a few years now. Is that an Alan Wake reference? There's a show in in universe. In um, Alan Wake. So, um, mixing live action and gameplay is something that um, Remedy likes doing. The America Overnight program has operated successfully for over years. Originally designed to assist in providing disinformation to the naturally skeptical population of America, it has additionally led to the discovery of numerous AWEs and altered materials by allowing civilians to call in and report their experiences with the paranatural. In fact, America Overnight alerted the Bureau of and in its first year of, of operation alone. In this report, the investigation sector has cataloged and categorized each episode of America Overnight that has resulted in a successful Bureau investigation in order to help AWE occurrence analysis. The more results of Night Springs have also been cataloged in a separate report. Okay. Hey, Jukebox. What's happening? What's going on in here? Ooh. Oh, I can get... Sure. Oh. Okay, well you're gonna you're gonna make so the grip doesn't do a lot of damage. I need to switch off of it to something else. Switch to shatter. I'm I'm good with that one. I like that it lets me know what I'm about to get into. Uh I'll go with that one. Let's go. So, so this is a way to get more gear. Okay. Like, I'm, I'm going to do one of these. I see that I can get, like, cosmetic outfits, which is cool. Ooh. Ooh. So, do I have to go, like, out and about, or what? I think so. What's through here? Okay. I see red. Are you his corrupted? Oh yeah, you're his corrupted. One. This seems okay. Whoa. Uh, stronger than me. Stronger than me, this stuff. This is level five. Which I am not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got totally wrecked.
Okay, okay. Wrecked. Not ready for that. It says challenging. That might not be... Those might be tougher than... Oh, so I'm still in it. Oh, I've got a limited amount of time. Let's see what we can do. We'll try it one more time. I, I do think I might not be ready for this, but I'm going to try once more. I mean, this will be how I wrap up today. Even if I fail here, it's still going to have been successful because I've had a, a delightful time. I do like how it has me using a different... Weapons, basically. Uh, I want... No, this one. Where'd it go? <laughs> In there, please. Why can I not pick this stuff up today? Whoopsies. Hello. I think I'm just going to go ahead and abandon this one. I need... I don't know if these are always going to be, like, one level higher than me, but I just... I don't have all these abilities upgraded yet, and I'm just going to be burning resources doing this. So, I'm going to leave. Is it this way? Abandon expedition. I'll just do this. I'm comfortable with that. I can get up to more hijinks. Ah, allergies in my eyes. Good luck out there. Thank you. I'm trying to decide what to do. I've got some minor things I could be doing. Oh, they're all out here. Uh, let's do one thing. Maintenance for Pierce. Do I have anything in the executive sector right now? Let's go in here. Let's work on Arisha's friends. I could talk to Ati. Ati's somewhere in maintenance, right? Yeah. I'll teleport there first. Uh, I mean, I'm in ventilation, so if I just head south, which is this way, I'll get there. Uh oh, I hear voices. Where 
should find the others. Is that it? That's the only one? Sorry. No. Yeah. That way to the Black Rock Lab. Janitor's office. Not in there. Ooh. What's in here? Lore? You're not lore. You are a secret tape. What is on that secret tape? Ugh. I know I'm in here for one reason alone. And they won't give it to me. Hi. That's the reason they can come for you. You need to scrap that click. They are very good listeners. You can tell them anything. Or you can sing to them. They like that. Okay, let's see what we got. What a mess. Clear the mold around the medical wing in the containment sector. Or talk to the plants in central research. Hmm. Well, let's let's head to the coolant pumps. Whoops, wrong way. Excuse me. It's not in here. Hmm. I never remember how to get to the coolant pumps, but I think I have to go back out to the main room. Hi, I'm glad you're not dead. Well, that rooms I've never been in before. Lore. Unless you. Review by Captain Lopez. These days, I don't remember. Hang on. I don't remember what gender Lopez is. If they said so, Lopez is going to be voiced by uh, Patrick Warburton. These days, most YA novels intertwine the coming of age story with either a contrived dystopian setting or a tragic romance unless you manage to do both. In the story, the protagonist and her love interest search for a cure to the virus called The Fix, which is simultaneously killing her and spreading across the whole world. To find the cure, they go on expeditions into dangerous, uncharted territories. The people all live in walled cities now because dystopian future. And along the way, they just have to fall in love. I liked how we never got to know if The Fix was ever actually fixed. The ending was bold, especially for YA. The main character succumbs to the fix when she's so close to the cure and commands her love interest to go on and save the world. She knows this is the end for her, but that the job could still get done. She dies out in the unknown, alone and surrounded by danger, but never loses sight of the goal. It's a good soldier's death. Give this book 3 out of 5. I feel most of the teenage angst is a little lost on me, but I'd recommend it to my brother's kids. Oh, I miss you, Lopez. <laughs> Whoops, that's my head. And down. I am lost in this room and need to find my way out. Let's just go to the warp point. That's easier than me having to learn what I'm doing. And there it is. Send me outside. Uh, to the furnace chamber. Hey.
Alright, let's head back to the coolant pumps. Oh, yeah, I want to do this, because there's something... There's something... Cool... Over here. Yeah, what's in here, man? What's this? Alright. Yeah, I'm up top now! Oh, gosh! Not anymore, I'm not. Whoopsie doopsies! Oh no, that was bad. <coughs> well, that was clever and awful. Yeah, I'm in a bad place. Covered in mold. Baby. Uh, this doesn't seem good. Take that. Nothing. Door's locked. Hmm. So this, uh, not really what I expected. Thought I'd find a cool thing up here. And I'm just gonna say it's not what I found. I found a lot of mold. Mold, not cool. Well, let's head down here and fight somebody. Hello. I have come here seeking violence, which is like knowledge, but worse. Ah, that thing was fast and I don't like it. Where are you at? I should probably switch to the, to, to the shoddy. I, I know you're down there. I know you're down there. Where are you at? Whew. <laughs> Alright, settled that. Settled that. Now I need to get back out of here. I thought the only thing I could do up there, up top, was... Um... Stop. So it was just a closed door. I bet I can just climb back up, though. Poke around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Climb on that mold. There, now you're doing it. Yeah, just that door over there. It's kind of a more fun way to get back out of here, I suppose. You anything? Nope. Nothing over here. I just kind of want to confirm that, and then we're going to teleport back. Get to the point where we can teleport out of here. Uh, yeah, this mission is not hard. I like it.
right. Let's see how much more I can get done. Oh, board countermeasures. Right, I did this. This one right here. Give me my terrible. Oh, that's a that's a jukebox token that I don't want. That'd be hard. Oh, the quarry. Let's head out to the quarry. I can t I can fly now. So it'll be okay. I can get past the spikes because I can fly. Just like Symphony of the Night. Oh yeah, see? This this is good. This is fine. Yep. I didn't even do that one. Gotta go now. Bye. Oh, no. <laughs> the chat's been invaded. Stop her. Oh, no. Whoa, boy. Hey, hi, hey, hey, hey. Hey. I don't think there's any call for this. I don't think there's any call for this. Oh, hee hee hoo hoo. Stay over there. Stay over there. Stay over there. You have infamous powers. Although, honestly, you're not that tough. You get out of here. Come here. Oh, I used up all my powers. People are fixing this place up, and then you are breaking it every couple seconds, my friend. That's just incredibly rude. All right. That chamber's done. Where to next? Black Rock Processing. Ah, what does that south out of here? And down. And good. Okay, I've done that already. Good, everyone's still here. Everyone's still feeling good. I'm gonna head to Processing. You all stay here. If I go quick, I can do this before my day's over. You're dead. I didn't do that. Ooh. I hear fun sounds, but I have to get this... This dodge efficiency mod. It wasn't going to get itself. Alright, I'm going. I'm going. Hang in there, friends. You are only level... They didn't stand a chance with no HRAs. No kidding, they didn't. Alright, one left. Everyone's still alive. It's pretty good. I'm assuming that's all there were. I have no way of confirming that. Alright, let's run up. One more teleport. Let's figure out the fastest way to get there. That door opened by itself. Oh, there are people in here. Thank you. Really appreciate it. It's very friendly. Uh, energy converters entrance. Let's go. Still not sure what this room is. Seems bad. I don't know what she's getting up to in chat. That'll be fun to figure out later. 
I know she's in there. My wife is enjoying herself in the Twitch chat, in case someone is watching this on YouTube later. Uh, anyone in here? I was told there was someone in here. You aren't anyone. Whoa! Hey! Hey now! I win. Arish saw it coming though. But Sorry, Arish. Okay, let's go. Really looking forward to reading the chat after all this. Okay, okay. I'm in the right area. Let's teleport. Let's go. Central Executive. Vile lies and slander. Arish. We go around that way. Here are the pouches. I found six. Well, that's all of them. Counting mine. Well, I guess I'll just have to wear all of them. Aww. It sounds sappy, I know, but that's all I can think to do. Nothing's easy with the hiss. Is it rude to ask what's inside? What's inside the pouches? <laughs> Too late now. Yeah. Well, the story's confidential, but, uh, well, I guess I could tell you, being the director and all. So, uh, the Bureau had heard rumors of a uh, werewolf gathering upstate every full moon. Oh, word? Us being rookies, they sent us to confirm the picture. Hold on, is he about to tell me werewolves are real? <laughs> Turns out, there was an altered item that was creating violent gravitational anomalies during full moons. Oh, man, we nearly did it that night. <laughs> well, to remember the occasion, we all bought silver bullets to wear around our necks. Just in case we ever ran into another werewolf. So why did you leave the rangers? That's cute, Arish. Thought I could do more good here. And somebody's got to protect the people who protect everybody else, right? I like Arish. Arish is Still, good. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Don't get All right, I'm going to take a look. Is there anything? I don't have enough ability points to level anything up that matters to me. I'm not using the shield, so maybe that's on me. Maybe that's my fault. Could probably just keep doing more levitation. I'm going to hold on to these. I feel like maybe they're going to be more. I don't know if there'll be more abilities or anything later on, but maybe there will be. Or maybe I want to save up and get uh, better launching. But I, I hate to break up the hijinks in the chat. I do look forward to catching up, but I'm going to stop. I'm going to press the stop streaming button in a minute. Because <laughs> I need to go finish out my work day. We keep slightly different hours, so she is already done. And we do not have anything set up for her to stream. Uh, but this has been a delight. I hope everyone has had a good time. I've had a very good time. I've had a very good Thursday. Um, so when we next play, which is tomorrow, I am going to, I think, tackle the runaways and then work on these two things, the mold and the plants. I'm afraid of the face of the enemy right now. I'm afraid of the slide projector. I'm afraid of all of it. I want to get a little bit stronger. I want to upgrade. I want to get one of these ready to upgrade. I want to upgrade one of my other weapons. Uh, even if it's something else, I just like building up for the charge. Um, I think it's going to be good. That's an important thing for me to do. Okay. Have a wonderful rest of your day, everyone. I will see you next time. Bye.